Now then guys, PT64 here, and the time has come to get the fuck out of Dodgewood. We burnt that tree down yesterday in game. We had a horrendous army come after us last night. An unrelenting amount of enemies. It got fucking hairy. If you did not check it out, guys, make sure you go and check it out. It was fucking hairy. Definitely not what I expected. But incredible all the same. And now... We are hoping to get the fuck out of here. Have I come too high up? It seriously seems that way. Oh. Well, hello. I definitely have. Don't even recognise that building. That was a first for everything. Well, the one time we're going to the village to get out and... Darkwood really does not want us to leave. <laughs> it is really not fancying letting us out. Oh, it's right there. Fucking hell. So typical. Right, yep, standard, great. That ominous wind is blowing. Here we go. It's gone. Ah, the journal, of course. Did I miss anything? No elephant shed. Ah, yeah. Old journal. Oh, where did we get to last time? Yeah, that was the one. So, old journal. I found an old journal in the elephant's cottage. It looked like it was written by one of ours. One of the notes mentioned a radio tower and some downward passage. Might be worth investigating. According to the notes, the radio tower is located in the southwestern edge of the swamp. Radio tower. We never even went there. Never even went there. But, do not fear. Because, I will definitely be replaying through this game on stream really taking time to find anything we missed so I reached a shed near the elephant's cottage inside I found a decaying corpse and a lot of equipment they probably found it in the woods there are some oxygen tanks here empty ones I may be able to fill them with oxygen using the compressor day 26 the tree burns I set the roots in the cellar on fire the fire consumed the talking tree in its entirety even now I can still hear it screaming Seems like the cripple was right. The tree is enormous and it will probably continue burning throughout the night. I'll return here tomorrow, which we now have done. Day 27, ashes. It worked. Only ashes remain of the tree. I feel I'm approaching the end of my journey. Is it possible? Is it possible? That is really the question. This is where it was, right? Right here. Can't fucking see because of all the smoke. Further up. Yes, here. There it is. We're through. Oh, shit. And it really, like, pulled me through quick. I, I was actually going to get around the other side and have a look at that tree trunk. Covered in the litany of corpses, but... Never mind. Never mind. Shitload of footsteps. Where are we now then? Out of there, I hope. See anything in there? Well, there's definitely a lot of people come this way. Is this post tree burning? The road. A colourless goo sips from the cracks in the asphalt. The fucking road. No way. Backpack. A couple of torches. Oh no, 
loads of bad I was just about to eat that. It just went rotten. I mean, I suppose I'll take them just in case. Right here. Oh, shit. Is that the cripple? It is. It's the cripple old man from the village. Can I not talk to him? Bless him. He wasted no time. We never found any wheels for him either, did we? The road home it is. I feel bad for you, mate. I don't just want to, like, put you down, though. I mean, you, you're crawling. You seem to have the upper body strength. I can respect the man. He is getting it done. He's keeping it moving, isn't he? These people who are like, like outside Mushroom Granny's house. I'm sure, we're not missing anything. It's not twisted all. range at which you can see with the hunting rifle is fucking wild. I don't know, I don't quite feel at ease just yet. Well, I have only just noticed that we're time frozen. Big old truck. Twenty-five kilometers to the nearest town. Where's blocked off there? Anything? Ah, here we go. I was going to say for a moment there, and so like, wait a minute, what? So far, lush green grass. Still doesn't fill me with too much confidence. See, it looks like I'm walking into like the depths of the forest again. Oh. Where are we now? We followed the road home. Epilogue. That's where we are. Okay. It's looking pretty fucking dingy. Wait a minute. Shit. I was about to say, where's my gun? Where's my inventory? Is that it now then? Have I not got any of my stuff? No stuff. It's dark, it's dingy. Unnerving with all these trees. Oh, fucking hell, just when I know that can happen if something comes at me, I'm fucked here. Maybe we can bob and weave between the trees, we might be alright. I just can't see through them, they're so dense. Music sounded amazing. Holy shit. What? Telegraph poles or like elect well electric pylons. Music sounded amazing. Look at this open grassland. That's gotta be a sign of life though, right? Pylons, surely. Surely. So curious. 
if I'm even going the right way. Oh shit! What have we got here? Some buildings. Civilization? No way. Ah, oh, that looks awesome as well, that building. Oh, it's 3D. And they're gone. Who's gone? Ah, oh, with the codes, is that what I heard? Who's gonna eat the bread now? What the fuck? So those screaming noises don't exactly fill me with the greatest of confidence. Those balconies. Like, is that just supposed to be like people shouting? Because it sounds like... I don't know, it just sounds... Dark Woody, I've not let me guard down yet, let me tell you. I mean, this is seeming like we're on for a on for a good one, but I'm not letting my guard down. My first floor neighbour. Good day. Good day to you. And how the fuck have I just said good day? What the hell, why is it? Oh, is it? Ah, okay. This is my staircase. Oh, this is my building then. Someone finally evicted them. It's probably the work of that little punk from the third floor. I said this is my staircase. Was it that one or was it this one? Although I'm going down right now. Oh, that's four. Locked, locked. Well, this is fucking creepy down here. Especially not having any weapons or anything. Wait a minute, what? Why am I finding large mushrooms here? I thought I was out of dark wood. <sighs> See? This is why I didn't let my guard down, because I felt like I was out of the fucking place, but now I'm not so sure. It's like I am out, but am I out? Hmm. Oh shit, one's open. See anything? Potatoes. Say it out, sacks. Oh, a jar of jam. I think that'll be either strawberry or raspberry, I imagine. That is all I can search. Radio. Ah, oh, a radio. Well, I mean, we've had great experiences with radio so far, now haven't we? Let's be honest. The chill music. See, every time we've had this kind of angry static, like, obviously, I appreciate, you know, as far as I'm aware right now, I'm not in Darkwood anymore, but... I am curious though. I want to know if the fucking thing is going to give me anything. Like talking wise, I mean, like dialogue wise. Not, not stick a hand out and hand me something. So that sounds almost like a bit of talking or something, but. No. 
Huh? Holy shit! Sleep. Oh no. Fucking hell. I was l legit 110% about to walk away from that then. And be like, maybe not then. Something better not fucking come in here now. Sleep is in. You're going to put me to sleep, is that? The fuck was that? Oh, thank God that was the way. <laughs> I was going to run until I hit a wall and then run again. That was fucking horrible. Bass. Got any spare change? Not for you, boy. Not for you. No. No, oh, it's like a baby crying. Can you see anything? No. Nasty. You got anything else to say, mate? That eight's gonna ask me for change, fuck's sake. No, no dice. Oh, what the fuck? They're waking my kid. What is that? It's a little fetus or something. Is there anything else in there? Oh, fucking hell. That got me a bit. What the fuck? Stupid cow. <laughs> Amazing. Sorry for waking the baby. Sorry for waking the fetus. It's apparently just fucking sat chilling on the ground. That was rancid. What is going on here? I'm not... I am not at ease. This is this is the part where I should be feeling relaxed and at ease. It's like I'm out of there. I've got no weapons on me anymore. Pleased to see you, mister. I haven't seen you in a while. The fog. The rug. Apparently someone was too lazy to bring it down the stairs, throw it in the trash. They're still green, even though I've never seen anyone tending to them. Maybe they feed on the discarded cigarette butts. Fucking doubt it. Flowers, oh, still green. Yeah, again, never seen anyone tend to them. I swear there's like a over overlap thingy. No? Alright. Right, okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, excuse the fitting expression, but I do not think somehow we're out of the woods yet. It's probably the work of the kids from the neighbouring apartment block. Four. My gaps, can we see anything? What's that? What the fuck? I swear they were chompers. I swear they were chompers. I can see two like shadowy chompers right here where my cursor is. And that looks like that fucking vagina thing from down in the fucking underground tunnel why is there like an army of fucking chompers can we still see oh no we're not out of here we're not out of here use key oh, there's more up there though let me just have a let's just have a quick look up here first and then we'll fucking then we'll we'll go in it's not my apartment the name is Bike. He could do something with it. It's been lying in the middle of the corridor ever since he broke the kickstand. There's something else up here, then. It's not my apartment. Oh, well, we know this. I'm just curious. It's not my apartment. Surely it's got to come to an end, though. What? What the fuck? Oh, fucking hell. Look at the floor. Look at the state of the floor. Why is there the fucking roots all over it? 
You can't be serious. I do wonder if that other one was actually my apartment that I opened then. Because that one had a rug there and I couldn't get in that one. What the fuck? So it does open. Does it just go on forever then? Oh, fuck it. Oh, we're in. Oh, right, so it does pull you in. I did wonder whether or not we'd go in and it'd just be a case of having to close the door. Home sweet home. You say home sweet home. I'm not feeling very home sweet home about it. It's my wardrobe. Take off my coat after all this time. Oh, the coat and hat have come off. Hey, I do remember this from a, from the dream, you know, when we had the knock on the door and then we saw ourselves. Barely standing on my feet, I'll take a bath tomorrow. The Frania washing machine, spent two days in the queue to get it. The fog. Oh, come on. You can't do that to me. Missed me? He's a good lad. Yeah, Fa fabric. I don't think we need that anymore. Or do we? It makes me fucking wonder. It's gonna take it anyway. Bedroom key. I don't know why you'd lock your bedroom. Up. Black and white Reuben. A real luxury. Unfortunately, it's broken. What's this? I'm very tired. I prefer to lie down on a regular bed. What's these like? I can see these like tendrils. Oh, this can't be happening. Great. Fucking roots. Roots. Fucking roots, of course. Roots, bloody roots, innit? These roots are growing out from under the floor panels. You've got to be kidding me. I won't be able to tear the floor off my bare hands. There should be some tools in the kitchen. Medosial! Good boy. Although I'm starting to wonder. I know, I've made some soup. Heat it up. Oh, right. Stove. Oh, that looks a little bit more normal. The old trusty gas stove. There's still some soup in the pot. Turn on. Someone made me some soup. Uh, amazing. The smell fills the entire kitchen. Oh, damn right. I grab the largest dish from the clo from the closet under the sink and pour myself a bowl. It's not much, but it's enough. I don't remember the last time I've eaten a home dinner. Oh, it's got to be tasty after all that fucking swamp man meat and all that human spider meat, eh? Delicious. Bit of soup. Oh, large screwdriver. Is that going to do the job then? Is that what we're after? I'm so interested. What can I see down below, like out the windows? What can I see? I thought I could remove it. No? Oh! Oh, I can fold the rug. Oh, fuck it. Look at the pulsing roots underneath. I knew it. Listen to it now. Yeah, now we've revealed it. Look how it's gone all wretched dark and the music's kicked in. Oh, yeah, and that tense music. Yeah, rumbled. Rumbled roots, let me tell you now. It's leading in here. The bed. The pearly white. It's my bed. The white crumpled sheets look as if I've just woken up at last. I feel my sore legs buckling underneath me, my body becoming heavy and overwhelmingly lethargic. It was a gruelling journey, 27 days of human torment. Go to sleep, 
look closer. Fighting off sleepiness with difficulty, I lean over the bed. The springs creak noisily under the weight of my hand. As I cast my glance on the light brown construction from plywood, I notice familiar features. They are elongated and arched, and I can smell the fresh sheets and the pleasant warmth of the quill. Look under the bed. I feel a gentle draught coming from the dark gap between the bed and the floor. Reach under. My fingertips brush a thin layer of dust, coldness, moisture. I'm touching something rough, but my arm is too short to catch it. I think I need to move the bed. Let's get it moved. Oh, and now I can drag it around. What the fuck is waiting for us under here? What is waiting? A hole. Of course there's a hole. In we go. This has not been the happy ending. I expected yet. So far, where the fuck is this hole taking me? What the fuck? Where are we? Stark bollock naked? I know that much. Rocking around in the birthday suit. Where are we? My heart. Can I not... No, I'm not going to put it on. Oh shit, that opened up. The man is fast asleep. He's smiling. He's hugging his knees with skinny, dirty arms. A swarm of flies is covering a black sore on his head. The steep slope blocks the way ahead. There are some tunnels at its base. It's a meter-wide tunnel covered with a slimy membrane. Further inside, I can see pulsating growths blocking the way ahead. I won't be able to pass through this way. That's, where are we? So I fucking finally got out of there. I got home. Find more fucking roots. Dirty clumped hair cover the woman's face. She's murmuring in her sleeve, clutching a rag doll filled with straw. Now. The moon has faded. The night is here. God. The sleep stole over my doll. So close. Your eyes. Oh, can't get that last bit. What are you saying to me, love? I'm at the bottom of a huge valley. I feel the dry, dusty earth pulsating under my feet. I hear a faint whisper, Stasiag, my little Stasiag, sleeve, Stasiag, sleeve. As I do every time, please excuse any mispronunciations. The emaciated figure sleeps soundly, embracing the remains of a child. All these people here are all like sleeping. Have I broken out of this slumber then? Because clearly I was on the floor fucking trapped. Shiny stone. I was clearly, like, trapped along with all these fucking people. The figure speaks to someone in its sleeve, squeezing an old man's photo in its hand. It hums something quietly in its sleeve, swaying to a rhythm of a simple melody. Fuck. So many questions. Shiny stones? The figure is talking in its sleeve, moving its hands as if caressing someone with affection. Sleeping man looks like a skeleton coated in skin. He smiles wild, uh, widely. They're asleep. They seem happy, even though they're emaciated and dirty. Some of them lie dead. Clutches a muddy brass cross in both hands, repeating some incomprehensible words in his sleep. Oh, shit. Look how far down it goes. And what is that pulsing going on down there? The figure sleeps on a muddy ground, resting its head on the chest of a skeleton lying next to it. His face is covered in mud and sticks, and clutches a shiny stone in his hands. Another sleeping figure. Another sleeping figure. 
Is that it now? Just, yeah, sleeping figures. Oh. The tree cross? Yeah. Oh. I don't know where I'm putting these shiny stones. Slipping them up my hole, but... This is some crazy shit. Is it still just sleeping figures? Yeah, yeah, no, no more dialogue. No. This is mad. It's like, where am I? What the fuck? They bow it. Oh, shit. The bright white light. Is this like the centre of it all then? A pleasant warmth washes over me. What are you doing? Bow into it. What the hell is it? See some savages here. There's so many people around it. What is that thing? The swirling mass. It looks like I see a face in here. Got eye here, eye here, no two nostrils and mouth. It looks like a giant face with like the hair coming down off of it. What is it? Is this like the center of it all then? I just want to check over here first. That's it. What the fuck? The man mumbles in his sleep. He's emaciated and dirty, but his face is radiant and calm. He clutches a rusty object covered with old beads. Some weapon? Listen to the murmurs. The man is talking in his sleep. These are only snippets of sentences, single words, spoken gently and slowly. It's hard to find any meaning in them. Push him. Leave. Without opening his eyes, the man clumsily waves his hand at me, then covers his head with it and freezes. What's he clinging on to? Try to take the metal item from him? Leave. The man waves his hand again. This time he grabs my arm without opening his eyes and turns his head toward me. I recognise him. He's one of us. He's one like this fucking team that we've heard about then. Trying to snatch the item. Leave! Can you fucking hear me? I won't let you take her. The man clenches his teeth with the fury of a maniac. Saliva flowing from his mouth. It's hurting her. You'll tear her arms out. Give me the fucking item, boy. Don't! Leave her! No! What? What's this now? A fucking flamethrower. No way. I beg you, give her to me. He's coming for me. Does this lead anywhere down here? What are you doing? Give her back! Huge roots block the way. Even if I manage to climb, everything's surrounded by a steep slope overgrown with thick roots. There's no way out. Listen, lad. Well, I wonder what happens if he gets near me. Oh, he's just taking a swing at me, cheeky bastard. Sorry, Mashek, or Masek. Oh, ho. what are you doing? Leave us alone. Oh, no. I ain't leaving you alone. I'm burning it all to the ground. I'm burning it all to the ground. You'll kill us all. Look at it writhing. You'll die with us. If I die with you, then so fucking be it. Then so fucking be it. Be it. Look at it pulsing like a heart. Oh, maybe we can. I've set it ablaze. 
What? Oh shit, no, they're all there. Where was that way out? How, how come I can't get out? I thought I could get out that way. Shit. Fuck you! Leave me! They're all trying to put a stop to me. It's too late. You'll fucking burn. And if I have to burn along with you, then as I said, so be it. But you won't take me. Well, definitely doesn't look like there's a way out. I swear I could get. Oh shit! That's what I was trying to find before. This is the way out. This is what I was trying to find. And I thought it had blocked off. I thought it had like deliberately blocked off. Oh, the fire is raging. I don't think we're going to get very far. Look at them all. Look at them all trying to get across that fucking brat, that tree trunk. You'll all burn. You'll all burn. Oh shit, it's completely taken over. It's completely taken over. if I was supposed to get out or not. Even if I wasn't, I'd burn that fucking monstrosity. We sent that fucker straight to hell. Oh, I can still crawl! What? I didn't even realise. Well, there's much point. Look at the speed at which we go. We're done. There's no way we're getting out of here, especially at this speed. No chance. What a miserable way to go out. But at the same time, even if it might have been the case, fiery fucking justice was unleashed. And that I am not going to argue with. That's it. We can go no further. It's all over. Great fire consumed the woods for a couple of days, gradually claiming many of its inhabitants. Smoke. So where I woke up then, I saw so I'm so curious where that was. The fire consumed the last road leading to the heart of the woods. So clearly that was like in the real world then. The doctor who did not wake up even as the flames came closer. The three outcasts wearing old rags and scrap who, grief stricken under the enormous completely burnt tree, didn't even attempt to run. So the doctor got burnt up, the three got burnt up, the old lady overgrown with mushrooms who, immobilised in her rocking chair, burned together with her hub. Helped out mushroom granny for nothing. The elephant family who did not leave their house at the swamp even as the flames started consuming it.
the inhabitant of the house in the junkyard who burned to death inside his own shell. Oh shit, I never went back to the snail. I completely forgot. The boy with the violin who remained alone in the old hut in the swamp without a chance of escape. chicken lady who set out into the woods in search of her sister and lost the way. And the last living inhabitant of the flooded village, consumed by the flames at the very end of the road leading home. Piotrek did not live to see the fire. Before the flames appeared, he rose above the treetops in his rocket made of scrap. As he looked through the small spaceship window, he smiled for the last time. The Milky Way stars looked so beautiful, even now when moving away at huge speed. ending for the inhabitants of Darkwood, to be sure. I wonder if it's even possible to save everyone. But either way, either way, that is it. And I'm still reeling, I'm, t I'm still taking it in, you know, like when, when a game ends and you still, it hasn't quite sunk in yet. Yeah, that's, that's going to take... That's definitely going to take some sinking in that, some thinking about. It's almost like the white light, you know, thinking back to, like, the white goo that we were seeing everywhere, like the white shrooms, the spores and stuff, you know. Even, even when we were, like, examining the bed and the white of the bed and just that pure, brilliant white of just whatever that creature was that was obviously, well putting all these people around just in that like coma state mad and what was it doing with them so many questions all these people in that comatose state is it is it feeding off like their life energy you know is it feeding what's it feeding on why are all these people there oh i would love some deeper backstory into this i tell you what i would absolutely love some deeper backstory but guys, what can I say? What a phenomenal game. I've absolutely loved it. I have no doubt in my mind that I have missed no end of stuff in this game. Not only in the swamp, probably in chapter one, more than likely in chapter two. I mean, we had mention of that radio tower. But better believe I will definitely be running through Darkwood again on stream. Make sure you come and check it out, guys, over at twitch.tv forward slash partisan turbine 64. Come over, say hello. Let's run through Darkwood again, all in due course. January, I imagine, will be when that'll happen. Get yourselves over, let's run through it again, and let's let's really put some time into it and see what we can find. Guys, thank you so, so much for joining me for this Let's Play series. I've absolutely loved Darkwood. Such an indie classic. I've, I've loved it. What else can I say? I can't wait to get stuck into whatever's coming next. But until then, take care of yourselves, guys. Look after each other, and I'll see you on that next Let's Play.